Well, with Luke and Thomas pulling their respective trains, of course, maybe not. Yes, Luke is pulling a passenger train, whereas Thomas is pulling a mixed, well, it looks like to be a mixed goods or cargo train. And in this video, because I didn't make a video on Tuesday because of the strike on what I had on YouTube, of course, yes, we're going to be looking at three pickup products. You know, cover them just basically along the way. I'll take my time as long as this video is properly made. And thank God, I initially thought I was about to say, Oh, that's just great. I'm going to do all that warm man. Let's go. No, to go. Oops, <laughs> I actually said it now. But anyways, in this video, we're going to start off with this product here. We're going to be looking at this one here. It's called the Wintering Eurasian Wujin Flock 12 Pack. Now, if you don't know what a Wujin is, uh, it's like a species. I think it's a duck species. That's what it is, though. But look at the price. Freaking £29.99. Almost at £12, but it's more like £29.99 or £30. Very expensive, isn't it, though? For a price like that. Looking at the back of the packaging, there's nothing much left. But I can't see part of the British Wildlife Collection um, reference on the back of the packaging. It's very strange. I can't see a, a reading of part of the British Wildlife Collection toy range. Which is definitely one of the first times I've, I've actually um, encountered this before. Uh, maybe I haven't. Uh, this is definitely the first time I've actually encountered this. It's obviously quite weird. Is there's a bit of um, well, let's just say sexual dimorphism going on here, like all ducks have. In terms of colours, I'd say I'm going to come in and do the unpacking. And the country I'm in at the moment, of course, is the UK. And um, you know you can tell by my long sleeves and the season that we're on to at the moment now, we're heading towards winter. I know that's going to confuse us, the bulk of my audience from the south. Anyways, here is the female widgeon. And I've also got the male widgeon here. It's that one there, of course. It's got that sort of look and expression like that there, the face. And a uh, oh, bit of iffiness on the flying there, of course. Clickiness as well. If you can hear the clicks, all of them don't have names, which is very, very disappointing, of course. But luckily enough, I do love the fact that the male widgeon has got a yellowish, creamish sort of um, cap colour, I'd say. Uh, the beak is grey, uh, the eyes are like that, and the head and neck is obviously like that. The tail is grey, feet are black, and what I've actually realised is that the name for these patterns on the wings there, like you would find on the sides of these ducks, is called the speculum. So the male has got black and green speculums. Has got a, a sort of, in that sort of pattern, I would say. They've got, you know, black and green sort of a, a triangular sort of speculum pattern in it. Whereas this one here, the females, of course, uh, they've got, uh, I think, or should I say, she's got, because I'm handling one, not two, they've got, or she's got, um, a brownish sort of greyish, I'm not sure if you can see a bit of greyish because of the why I tend to colour in things. I think it's a, a, a brownish sort of greyish uh, speculum on the wings there, which looks absolutely amazing. Oh no! We nearly just got round over by Luke! Freaking hell, man! That was a close call! You naughty freaking ducking girl! Trying to be really, really, well, let's just say friendly there. If I did hear the F word, of course, if I did say the F word, I would be demonetized and also I would be unsubscribed onto my YouTube channel saying, hey, stop spoiling on your personal YouTube channel. That's what it is, though. But anyways, without being really, really um, hysterical, of course, and being a lot more stringent, as I would say, which is one of the most interesting words I would like to use, oh, I'm going to move on to somewhere which is going to be really, really different. Like... You know, when I cover a whole bunch of pick up toys, there are some products that have packagings, but there are others which don't tend to have packagings as well. Which is very interesting. It really divides on whatever you like it or hate it, of course. It depends on how people can just opinionate one thing and another, of course. Anyways, that's that product done here. Really expensive, but mind you, I've got to tell you guys that, I mean, pick up toys are made to be cheap. But this stuff now is frightfully expensive. I mean, give me a break! Anyways, let's just go ahead and take a look at this chameleon here. Oh my goodness me, this chameleon's giving me some karma. I wouldn't say anything or wouldn't sing 
anything related to culture club because if I did sing Karma Chameleon, oh sorry I just sang there, and that chameleon just got hit by Thomas. Naughty Thomas, naughty! Anyways, I might probably um, smack him in the face later though. But anyways, uh, this chameleon, I have to make sure he's not hit by Luke though. Uh, chameleons are very interesting. Um, yes, this toy doesn't change colour because it's not a real freaking chameleon. But as we all know, chameleons have got crests and horny thingy bobs like that on the front of the headset. Oh, here comes Thomas. Oh, let's give him the whack. Yes. Naughty Thomas, naughty. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry for smacking you in the head there. Or maybe somewhere, I just don't know. Actually, sorry for smacking your bother though. Sorry for making you... S <laughs> oh my goodness me! Luke is literally going to catch up to Thomas because of me! Sorry! Sorry, Thomas! Sorry, I didn't want to hurt you. I was just playing with you. Oh well. But anyways, as we all know, chameleons have got... Oh, it looks like they have a tail which looks like this. Plus, they've also got this red band. Almost looks like Kikleon from the Pokemon franchise. And we've got a yellow eye wing, of course, which is amazing, of course. And making sure we're not being run over by either Thomas or Luke. The chameleon can stand. If it wants to or not, though. It's sort of weird there. It's got a bit of an elongated body, but not as elongated as a snake. Very nice indeed, actually. For a toy like that, I suppose. And uh, the jaw can move as well here. That's so cool. Look at that. Although the tongue isn't really that long, it looks sort of amazing. Oh my goodness me! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my god, Thomas is actually shunted by Luke at the beach home now! And my finger just literally just came towards my camera here! Oh, naughty, naughty Ivan. What was I supposed to be doing now? But anyways, apart from the ickiness, I think this ickiness starts to look a lot much more better than I would actually expect. But anyways, let's finish off with something a lot more mythical. Is this another one of these beautiful mythological reptilian Pokemon-y thingy bobs? Well, you're almost correct. Well, actually, I'm almost correct because it looks like a mixture between Trico and Charizard mixed with a Terror. I I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a terrible Terror dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. And oh my goodness me, look at that! Oh my goodness me, look at that. I'm pretty sure this dragon can fly though, I guess. Really cool, isn't it? And Luke is just shunting on the behind of that box car that Thomas is pulling here. Anyways, it's got the jaw action here that you'd find in many of the flip up toys, which are animal themed, of course. And um, it's got a really nice, agile looking design. When I talk of agile, I love the way it prowls like that, I suppose. Like the way it's being positioned like that. I love the fact it's got a, a tail which is shaped like a trident. Oh my goodness me, it actually looks sort of, you know, cool in, in the way it's been made. The wings are sort of symmetrical and they're shaped like that. And yes, the face, once again, it looks like the dragon of How to Train Your Dragon, of course. This How to Train Your Dragon really popular now as a film franchise? I would guess say yes. I would definitely say yeah. Obviously, I suppose. Wait. Oh, I initially thought that the wings have been ripped apart, eh? Wait. Did I just realise that? Has it been ripped apart? No, it's not really been ripped apart. It's just that it's the way the wings are stuck on and things like that. But I just love the fact that it's a dragon. Which looks like the dragon's out of How to Train Your Dragon. I love the, the yellow line on that dragon, of course. And also the eye, of course. It makes it sort of bird-like. Or snake-like. or Well, that's just more... I would probably say skink-like. Which is a type of lizard. Skinks are lizards, as we all know, though. Anyways, I think that's just about that in this video. Although we had a whole bunch of minority issues along the way of this video here. And um, yes, we have the dehumidifier on the background there. I'm not sure if you can hear that uh, from my voice though. But you can hear it or not though. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm certainly looking forward to find out what's going to be happening from tomorrow. And I'm hoping I might have a toy view at any time, but anyways, please give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, as always, as usual, and until next time, thanks for watching and bye for now.